All right, somebody about to feel like I'm sitting at their kitchen table talking to them right now. I know, I know. I know you want to. Please, don't slap your boss. Don't slap your team lead. Don't slap your manager. Don't slap your teacher. Don't slap your best friend. Don't slap your cousin. You have a little thing that we like to call composure. Some of you is buried deep inside, but I need you to keep it. And you're like, Fry, but I can't stand this person. I can't stand that person. And they keep talking to me any kind of way, and I'm about fed up. I get it, I understand. You got this thing we call pride. I was talking to somebody this weekend, and they were having the same issue with another person. And it was like, listen, I tried to be quiet, but my pride got in the way. And I looked directly at my bro. I said, pride ain't nothing but a word. I want you to understand that in the game of cards, the joker pretty much trumps every other card. But in the game of life, being hungry, being broke, being homeless, going to jail, and just about every case should trump pride and ego. But way too many of us fail to keep our composure when we need to the most. Hate to break it to you, but some of you out there <laughs> are in the dark, still in the dark. And you know what I need you to do for me when you're in the dark, right? <laughs> Turn the lights on when I'm talking to you because you are putting everything in your life at risk by not knowing how to control your emotions when you need to control them the most. When you can't control what's happening, I challenge you to control the way you respond to what's happening because that's where the power's at. So you want everybody else to have your back, but it's obvious that you don't even have your own back. Because you can't control your doggone emotions. You can't keep your composure. Getting fired from this job. Getting kicked out of school. Losing your cool and catching a case. You honor yourself by acting with dignity and composure. The only person you have permission to slap is yourself because you acting a doggone fool. So right now, I need you to understand there's an intelligent way to deal with adverse situations and there's an ignorant way to deal with adverse situations. And right now, you're way too heavy on that ignorant side. And that's why you have so many problems in your life. So I need you to flip your mental. And instead of saying, if somebody says one more thing or does one more thing to me, I'm about to lose it. I need you to say, if somebody says one more thing to me, I'm about to find it. And that's when you dig deep and you find a way not to lose it. So no, we ain't slapping nobody today. We slapping ourselves upside the head and we learning how to regain our composure so that way when the boss acts a fool and you want to slap your boss or your team lead or your coach or whatever the case may be, don't get me wrong, I get it. Because some people don't know how to lead and they'll talk to you any kind of way because they're miserable and they're going through a lot and they bring it to work or bring it to school or bring it to wherever the case may be and they prey on innocent people. But I need you to understand, you never let somebody mess up your money. You never let somebody mess up your future. You block out all their ignorant ways because you have the power to control the way you receive what they're saying. You learn what you need to learn and then you take that and apply. And then when you become the boss or the owner of the company or the teacher or the coach, you make sure you don't treat other people like that. And one other tip, when you're in a situation where you feel like you're about to spaz out and lose it, you use my 10-4 method. You take 10 seconds and forward think and see the worst thing that could possibly happen. And you regain your composure because sometimes your life really does depend on it. And when you walk out of a situation where you would have lost it last week and you didn't lose it, you can celebrate that small win because you just got a little bit better and you won. And that's exactly what this is all about. You finding a way to climb over that hump of adversity, that hump of drama and make each and every day of your life a Wednesday. And this is a great day to win. Let's go.